Welcome to Sterling Administration. Today I'm going to show you Sterling's POP and Cafeteria Plan POP application. Sterling's Premium Only Plan application is available exclusively online. Section 125 Premium Only Plans, often referred to as POP plans, reduce income tax liabilities for employers and employees. IRS Section 125 allows employees to pay their insurance premiums and health savings account contributions using pre-tax dollars. Sterling's Basic POP Service. Sterling Basic POP documents are good for up to 10 years. Sterling will check in at the end of your fifth plan year to inquire if any changes are needed. If a change is needed at any time, please contact Sterling so we may update your documents a fee may apply for the amendment. Our basic POP is for plans which meet Safe Harbor and do not include HSA contributions or cash in lieu of benefits. Under the special Safe Harbor for POPs, the plan is deemed to satisfy the non-discrimination rules if the eligibility requirements and waiting period for the POP are the same for all employees. All employees receive the same employer contributions for the same benefits, and all employees have the same cost share for the same benefits. Sterling's Cafeteria Plan POP. Sterling's Section 125 Cafeteria POP is renewed annually and includes non-discrimination testing for plans that have HSA contributions, cash in lieu of benefits, or do not meet the safe harbor. To set up your POP with Sterling, you'll need to complete a five-step application process online. Once on our online application, you'll be asked for your company information. This includes your company name, state of organization or incorporation, your fiscal year end, the type of company that you have. We'll ask if you have any affiliated employers if this is a controlled group by another company. We will also ask you about plan information. In this section, we'll ask you if you need our basic POP service or our cafeteria plan POP. We will ask you if this is a new POP plan or if it's a restatement of an existing plan you already have set up. The next section asks if you have a plan number. This starts with a five, and is a three digit number. If you haven't assigned a number yet, you can choose plan number 501. If that's been used already, use the next number in order. So you would choose 502, for example. You'll indicate if this plan has a short plan year, the total number of employees in your company, the total number of eligible employees in your company, and let us know if you've worked with a general agent to find Sterling. We'll ask you about eligibility requirements. We'll ask if there is a minimum age requirement to participate, if there's a minimum service requirement for any employees before they become eligible for the plan. And then we'll ask you if you have a union, part-time employees, and how you'd like to handle seasonal, seasonal employees when enrolling in the POP. We'll ask you questions about how you handle FMLA leaves, and termination of participation in the plan. We'll ask you questions about reemployment of past employees and you, how you'd like us to handle that in your documents. We'll ask you about participant elections. You can choose to have your employees automatically enrolled into the POP once they've meet, met the eligibility requirements, or you can require that your employees fill out an enrollment form We'll ask you to designate a plan administrator. And we'll also ask you if you have any health flex credits. After this section, you'll click continue. You'll provide your company's contact information. Please make sure to enter a primary contact first. And if you are working with an insurance broker, please make sure to indicate them in your contacts as well. We'll ask you who you'd like us to send the invoice to. 
we can send this to you or to your broker. Please also indicate if you'd like to play via check or if you'll be paying via ACH pull. If you choose the ACH pull option, it will drop down a menu where you can enter your bank account and routing number and Sterling will ACH the setup fee from there. On the next screen, you'll type in your name. You can review our administrative services agreement and then submit the form. From here, you'll receive a confirmation with a downloadable enrollment summary. This summary will also be emailed to you. This is Sterling's Pop. Thank you so much for your time today. Good luck in filling out your application. And if you need any help, Sterling is here for you. Please give us a call. We'd be happy to help you.